This is a technology we introduced on the base GE90 engine in 1995. Today, we are still the only ones that have a composite fan blade. And now we're going to take that to the next level on the GE9X. For the first time, we're introducing 16 composite fan blades to the G9X in a 134-inch case, also made out of composites. The blades end up being wider from front to back and longer, and the new aerodynamic shape that Aero wants makes it very challenging because they want it thinner, they want it bigger. We look at that and we know that's going to be difficult, but that's what excites us. We're trying to push the envelope. We're trying to give our customers a more efficient engine. And so to do that, we've got to push the limits a little bit more than we have before. The philosophy at GE is to bring the absolutely most aggressive technologies to that engine. But we're not going to do it unvalidated. The technology maturation program we've been running is all about understanding the technology, demonstrating the technical readiness capabilities of it, demonstrating the manufacturing readiness level. So as part of our TechMet process here at GE, we bring the subscale testing into play and we're able to reduce those risks to a point where we can start building full-scale test hardware and have very high confidence that we're not going to have to go back to the drawing board. That's why we've done two dozen tests over the last two years to really scrub the materials and scrub the design and, and trying to understand how far we can push these new materials. We met all of our aerodynamic performance objectives, our acoustic performance objectives, aeromechanical performance objectives. We're the only company that's proposing the number of blades that we will have on the 9X product. We're the only company that's now working on a fifth and sixth generation set of composite blades that would be in this particular application. So I'd say yes, we're definitely a leader.